Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud at his residence in the presence of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King praised the positive outcome of the visit of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Sal bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in promoting fraternal ties between the two brotherly countries. He lauded the pivotal role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud in defending Arab issues, supporting the GCC march, promoting pan-Arab work and fostering security and stability in the region and the world. His Majesty the King asked His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques as well as his best wishes of more growth and prosperity to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince reviewed the historical relations between the two brotherly countries and the ways of boosting bilateral cooperation in various fields. They also discussed the overall developments on the regional and international scenes and coordinating stances regarding issues of common interest. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the gracious welcome and hospitality accorded to him by His Majesty the King's pioneering role in strengthening the fraternal bonds between both countries. He wished the Bahraini people continued growth and prosperity under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. Later, His Majesty the King accompanied His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud to Sakhir Air Base, where His Majesty bid him farewell after an official visit to the Kingdom, during which His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince held talks with His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince was bid farewell also by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and several dignitaries. Yesterday, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and his accompanying delegation, who arrived to Bahrain on an official visit. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and several dignitaries.
And His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman then shook hands with members of the Bahraini side, while His Majesty the King shook hands with members of the Saudi delegation accompanying the Saudi Crown Prince. The official delegation accompanying His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman during his visit to the Kingdom includes the Minister of Energy, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, the Minister of State and Member of the Council of Ministers, His Royal Highness Prince Turki bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdulaziz, the Minister of Sports, His Royal Highness Prince Al Abdulaziz bin Turki Al Faisal, the Minister of Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz. The Minister of the National Guard, His Royal Highness Prince Abdullah bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz. The Saudi Ambassador to Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Sultan bin Ahmed bin Abdul Aziz. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah. The Minister of Culture, His Highness Prince Bandar bin Abdullah bin Farhan. The Minister of State, Cabinet Member and National Security Advisor, Dr. Msaad bin Muhammad Al Ayban. The Minister of State and Cabinet Member, Dr. Isam bin Saad bin Saeed. The Minister of Commerce and Acting Minister of Information, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al Qasabi. The Minister of Investment Engineer, Khalid bin Abdul Aziz Al Falih. The Minister of Finance, Mohammed Al Jadan. And the Minister of Economy and Planning, Faisal bin Fadl Al Ibrahim. After arriving in the Grand Protocol Hall at Sakhir Air Base, the motorcade of His Majesty the King and the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman headed to Sakhir Palace. Students lined up waving the flags of the two brotherly countries and folk bands chanted welcoming songs. At Sakhir Palace, an official reception ceremony was held for His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The Saudi and Bahraini royal anthems were played and the artillery fired 21 rounds of salute to the Saudi Crown Prince.
His Majesty the King held a meeting with His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. 
The Saudi Crown Prince conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to His Majesty the King and his wishes for further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty requested the Saudi Crown Prince to convey His Majesty's greetings to the Saudi monarch and his wishes for further progress and prosperity for Saudi Arabia and its people. His Majesty welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman and in return His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm hospitality and welcome accorded to him and his delegation. His Majesty then highlighted the deep-rooted historical relations binding the two kingdoms and the ways to further enhance these relations in all fields for the best interest of both countries and their people. His Majesty affirmed that the Bahraini-Saudi relations are an honorable model established by the ancestors of both countries and are based on solid foundations, cooperation and joint coordination. His Majesty expressed pride in the historical and firm Saudi stances towards Bahrain and the brotherly support on all levels. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Saudi Arabia and its rejection against all that threatens its sovereignty, security and stability and affirmed that Bahrain will always support the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its belief in common goals and destiny. His Majesty also praised the efforts of the Saudi monarch in developing the Joint GCC Action March and enhancing the cooperation between the member states of, for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia being the basis of the region's security and stability and defending the nation issues in the face of certain challenges. He also praised the role of the Saudi Crown Prince in enhancing the Saudi March and achieving further progress and prosperity for Saudi Arabia and its people. His Majesty then discussed with the Saudi Crown Prince recent regional and international developments as well as topics of common interests. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations and hailed the firm stances of Bahrain towards Saudi Arabia. He praised the achievements of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the numerous successes in all fields. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. After that, His Majesty the King held a dinner banquet in honor of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman and his accompanying delegation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today the Prefect of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, His Eminence Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagli, and Apostolic Nuncio to Kuwait, Qatar, and the Kingdom of Bahrain, Archbishop Eugene Nugent, and the representative, the Apostolic in Southern Arabia, and Apostolic Administrator in Northern Arabia, Bishop Paul Hender, on the occasion of their visit to the country to attend the inauguration ceremony of the new cathedral in the kingdom. Cardinal Louis Tagli handed His Majesty the King a written letter from His Holiness Pope Francis, conveying his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the opening of a church in the kingdom of Bahrain. Cardinal Louis Antonio Tagli conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of His Holiness Pope Francis and his good wishes to the people of the kingdom of Bahrain for continued progress, advancement and development for His Majesty's charitable and noble humanitarian endeavors. His Majesty also valued the important role of His Holiness Pope Francis in promoting 
dialogue and understanding between religions and civilizations and spreading the values of human brotherhood, tolerance and coexistence among all. His Majesty stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain's constant keenness to strengthen the existing friendship and cooperation relations with the state of the Vatican City and to exchange visits in a way that contributes to consolidating love and promoting peace. His Majesty welcomed his guests and their participation in the opening of the Catholic Cathedral, which embodies the civilized and humanitarian role of the Kingdom and its embrace of places of worship of various religions for decades, as well as the spirit of tolerance, respect and love that characterizes its people throughout its ancient history. The guests expressed their appreciation and thanks to His Majesty the King for his constant keenness to promote rapprochement between cultures and religions, as well as the progress and comprehensive Renaissance Bahrain is witnessing, in addition to the Kingdom of Bahrain's positions in support of coexistence between various religions. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud co-chaired the meeting of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council at Sakhir Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed his Saudi counterpart to the Kingdom of Bahrain, highlighting the Council's importance as a forum to enhance bilateral collaboration and integration in line with the visions of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness commended the role of the Saudi Crown Prince and his commitment in advancing Saudi-Bahraini cooperation in line with joint agreements set out by the Saudi-Bahraini Coordination Council. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for its wide-ranging progress and development in line with His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman's vision and the ambitions of its citizens. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman expressed his pleasure in visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain, noting the importance of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council and its subcommittee's work in further shared interests benefiting both countries and their people. He extended his gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness as well as the Bahraini people for their hospitality during his stay. He stressed the important role played by the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council and further bolstering relations and commended the strength of the coordination and cooperation between the two countries to fulfill the Council's goals. During the meeting, Bahrain welcomed the $5 billion investment in development projects across the Kingdom by the Saudi authorities and funds. Several major investment projects in the Kingdom of Bahrain were also discussed and the Council assigned the relevant ministers from both parties to coordinate and complete detailed technical studies throughout 2022 in preparation for final decision to be made by the Council. The Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council urged the committee supervising the Kikahamad Causeway and the railway network projects between the two kingdoms to complete economic and financial feasibility studies within a month to move to the second phase of the project. The Royal Highnesses agreed to hold the third Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council meeting in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia at a date to be determined by both councils, general secretariat and through diplomatic channels. The Council reviewed 65 initiatives within the work streams of five subcommittees. The Political Coordination Subcommittee is responsible for seven initiatives to support candidates of the two kingdoms when participating in international organizations and bodies to combat and eliminate extremists' ideology amongst young people, expand upon coordination between the two countries' delegations in New York and Geneva to implement joint courses for young diplomats, the Security Coordination Subcommittee is responsible for 10 initiatives, cybersecurity cooperation, facilitating transit and visa procedures, direct networking, the coordination subcommittees in the areas of the economy, trade, energy and industry hold responsibility for 11 initiatives including facilitating financial market trading, standardization cooperation, conformity assessment of biodegradable plastic products, intellectual property partnership, enhancing intra-trade relations. The coordination subcommittees in the areas of culture, media, tourism and social development included 27 initiatives. Registration of joint files with UNESCO, cooperation in the field of culture and antiquities, media regulation, adoption of digital health passports, implementation of joint tourism programs and investment initiatives, establishment of the Saudi Bahraini Youth Council, Finally, the Coordination Subcommittees for Investment, Environment and Infrastructure is responsible for 10 initiatives, 
qualification of developers for the King Hamad Causeway and the railway project, the water link between the two countries, joint investment in projects, waste recycling and utilization. Under the patronage and follow-up of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the National Day Championship for Endurance was launched, organized by the Royal Federation. This coincides with the celebrations of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day and His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and is being held at the Bahrain International Endurance Village. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the wide participation in the local qualifying races, which reached 161 jockeys and various stables, noting that the wide demand for participation in the endurance races is a clear indication of the growth of the sport. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the competition is a positive factor for the kingdom to achieve positive results during international participations, which was evident throughout the past period, with many achievements in regards to the main race for a distance of 20 km, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the competition will be open between stables and jockeys, and the stages are sure to witness excitement and competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser wished all participants luck and success. The Council of Representatives Speaker for Zia Zainal lauded the official visit of the Saudi Crown Prince to Bahrain. She stressed that the visit would further strengthen the deep-rooted relations between the two brotherly countries and the distinguished strategic partnership. Speaker Zainal indicated that the cooperation between the two kingdoms continue in the right path thanks to the support from both countries' leaderships, as well as the efforts of the Bahraini-Saudi Coordination Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the Saudi Crown Prince. She pointed out that the Bahraini-Saudi relations are exemplary and affirmed that the visit would deepen relations and cooperation across various fields based on shared fundamentals, visions and long-standing ties. The speaker asserted that the security of Bahrain and that of Saudi Arabia are integral, highlighting the efforts to enhance the two countries' strategic partnership across various fields. She affirmed the keenness of Bahrain's Council of Representatives and the Saudi Shura Council to broaden 
bilateral relations, enhance cooperation and coordinate stances at regional and international parliamentary gatherings. And the Shura Council Chairman, Mr. Ali Saleh Saleh, noted that the bilateral talks between His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister affirm the depth of the historic relations and ties between the two kingdoms and people. Mr. Al Saleh affirmed that the result of the visit aims to develop joint interests and achievements at all levels. He hailed the development and progress of both kingdoms thanks to the leadership of His Majesty the King and the Saudi monarch. He affirmed that the continuation of the mutual visits and the bilateral meetings between the leaderships of both countries open broader paths of cooperation and consolidate integration and coordination for more joint successes and achievements. Saleh also noted that the Bahraini-Saudi relations are a model that embody cohesion and common destiny, praising the main and effective role played by Saudi Arabia in achieving security and stability in the region. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud, held a press conference on the sideline of the official visit of the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister, and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to Bahrain. Speaking during the press conference, Ms. Minister Al Zayani stated, that His Majesty the King held a formal discussion session with the Saudi Crown Prince in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. During that session, His Majesty affirmed that the Bahraini-Saudi relations set a model of the distinguished fraternal ties, adding that His Majesty expressed his pride in the honorable historic stances that Saudi Arabia always takes towards Bahrain and its people, its continuous support to Bahrain at various levels. His Majesty the King also commended the efforts and good endeavors of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques to develop joint Gulf action and deepen cohesion, cooperation and integration. Minister Azayani added that His Majesty praised the remarkable role played by the Saudi Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz, in the development of the kingdom and his relentless pursuit of further development and progress for the benefit of the kingdom and its brotherly people. The minister stated that His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman also discussed in their formal session the latest regional and international developments and issues of common concern to the two brotherly countries. The minister stated that the Saudi Bahraini Joint Coordination Council held its second meeting under the chairmanship of their Royal Highnesses, the Crown Princes of both countries. During the meeting, their Royal Highnesses affirmed the depth of the strong brotherly relations and their keenness and mutual interest in developing prospects for bilateral cooperation to achieve the common interest of the two brotherly countries and people. Their Royal Highnesses discussed areas of strengthening and expanding joint cooperation in various fields. Minister Azayani also underlined that their Royal Highnesses expressed their happiness with the outstanding results of the meetings of the Council subcommittees, expressing that they are looking forward to the 42nd Gulf Summit to be held in Riyadh next week under the chairmanship of the custodian of the two holy mosques and for its fruitful outcomes to strengthen Gulf solidarity and achieve more cooperation and coordination and integration. He also added that the Royal Highnesses approved the recommendations and initiatives submitted by the relevant subcommittees. The Saudi Foreign Minister, His Highness Prince Faisal bin Farhan, stressed the importance of the visit of the Saudi Crown Prince reflecting the depth of the relations as well as cohesion and coordination and unity of destiny between the two brotherly countries. He noted that the talks between the two leaders affirm the determination to strengthen and enhance the level of coordination and linkage in all fields. A media delegation from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia visited the Ministry of Information on the sideline of the Saudi Crown Prince's official visit to the Kingdom. The delegation toured the ministry's departments accompanied by the ministry's undersecretary, Dr. Abdurrahman Bahar, and were briefed on the role of each department and the efforts of the Bahraini media caters in supporting the kingdom's efforts in all fields. The delegation praised the media message of the Kingdom of Bahrain that is based on unity among brotherly and friendly countries and praised the high capability level of the Bahraini media caters. Bahrain Journalists Association and the Saudi Journalist Authority held a joint media meeting under the patronage of the Information Affairs Minister, 
Mr. Ali bin Muhammad al-Ramehi. The meeting was on the sideline of the visit of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting focused on aspects of joint cooperation between official media institutions and the national press to develop, caters, and keep abreast of the latest media strikes. The two sides stressed the importance of unifying the media outlook regarding current issues and challenges in the sectors of health, economy, culture, in line with the joint GCC media strategy to defend against attempts to target GCC countries' achievements or cultural identity.